this is what we're catching 360 my name is mike if it's your first time to this channel well thank you for watching and uh, we do a whole bunch of cool stuff here mainly fishing but um i was going through a couple of my things uh, earlier on and i found my good old daiwa saltist and um you know we were meant to go to mozambique and i paired sorry that daiwa saltist with uh daiwa bg 4000 reel it's got j braid on it's got everything on it's ready for um the ocean ready for the beach we got plugs spinners lures you name it but uh, we were meant to go november last year that obviously didn't happen so uh, i don't know when we're gonna go but uh yeah looking at this uh, makes my heart sad man i need to go but what i decided to do for you guys is um show you the dam contours i know i made a video about this early on but uh, i hope this one's a little bit more um interesting or informative so um very basic uh, instruction on how to do it you'll find once you do it um, at the bottom right there is a little scale so what i do is i just mark it a little piece of paper or a little string and then you can actually mark and see exactly um, how far you're casting so a lot of guys think the further they cast the deeper it goes however what they don't realize is that's not always the case sometimes there's quite a flat spot in the dam and no matter how far you cast um, between say 100 120 130 meters you're actually in the same depth of water so this just helps you um, it's not a foolproof method like i said it helps you um, just know where your bait's lying um, so it's something else to have in your arsenal but um hey check it out so first things first go to uh, google type in dam contours as you see over here we'll bring up the dam contour site so damcontours.co.za go ahead click on that We'll see contour lines for the South African dams. Now, not all the dams are featured here, but a good amount of dams are featured here on the left-hand side. So, what we're going to do is, for this uh, example, we're going to click on the Vol Dam. Then this page opens. It does get stuck a little bit, so when you do try scroll, so uh, just bear with the actual page. But you know what? It does help. So this is just for information, so that you can see where you're fishing what you're doing this map is not 100 percent accurate but it's really really accurate and gives you a good idea so what we're going to do is we're going to go to boskop i think a lot of us have fished there so this is boskop and uh, let's see um, what we can get from this map here so if i scroll down we can see that uh, this is the entrance to boskop on top here what's nice about this is it's got a hybrid map as well so this is almost like a google maps so you can see when you come down into Boscorp, here it is here, the entrance is here, there's little bathrooms. You can come down and then let's just say we're going to work on, let's wait for that, fishing on this big bunch of trees here. So you know that when you come to Boscorp, you come down, these are the toilets, you come down, you turn right by the trees and your very next set of trees, that's where you want to fish for the weekend or for the day. So let's see what we will do if we come here so what we'll do then is we'll go on to maps this gives you your contour lines and we know roughly that that is where we're going to be sitting so we can zoom into that and i think let's zoom until there so obviously that is the dam at a hundred percent that is roughly where it is now a good idea is when you get to the dam just try find a marker so i would suggest print this page here and then print the dam contour page and actually overlap them that seems to work quite well that's what i do so when you get to the dam you know roughly you're sitting by by these trees and then when you go to the map you know that's roughly over here where, you, where you're going to be sitting so let's try zoom in a little bit more there we go so we can see we're going to be sitting at the 100 percent mark you see down here he has a little scale so what i usually do with this here it's a very easy, simple way, very non-complicated, is take a piece of paper and literally put the edge of the paper there, mark it here at the 200 mark. Obviously, half of 200 will be 100, half of that will be 50, half of that will be 25 meters. So you'll effectively have something that reads 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, and so forth, and so on. So what you do then, you say roughly you're going to be seated or you're going to be sitting over here. You take your little scale and you actually mark out if you can cast at 100 meters. So we know roughly, let's say on this example, 
that on 100 meters you're going to be sitting in roughly 13 foot of water. So as you guys know, for every, I think it's 3 foot, that's a meter. So from there down to there, that's 13 foot. What does that give us? That is about 4 meters. I think just over 4 meters. So that's roughly the depth that you're going to be sitting in. You can see if you cast any further, say to about 150 meters, or you have a little boat or a canoe and you're going to take it out. So what a lot of people think is they're going to take it out really deep. So you row and you till about there, 200 meters out, that you in deep water. But if you have a look, this whole section over here is only 23 foot. So it's good to know roughly how deep you are actually putting your bait. You can see here that if we move a little bit further down the bank, this actually works even better if I can put it like that this example you'll be sitting over here so anything past this 200 meter line like I said if you have a boat don't have to take it out any further because for the next two three four hundred meters you're in the exact same depth of water so I'll give you guys another example so say we move from here and you guys are fishing a pro mania or a, a club competition you see what I mean when I say it gets stuck and you fishing at Luplas, which sits over here. And you can see what it's done is, is it actually has Mulman's Island. So that's over here as well. And you can see what the dam contour is doing around here. But anyway, let's say you are fishing Luplas, which is a section over here. And you're sitting at the 100% mark. Anything further than this example of about, say, 150 meters, you not, the water does not get any deeper. So if you want to fish shallow, choose your um, depth that you want to fish at. So you can see a 7 foot, 10 foot, 13, 16, 20, and then it's 20 foot for a long time or for quite a, a, a distance before it hits 23 foot. So guys, that is just it. This is a very quick explanation of um, how you can choose where you, you want to fish, how deep you want to cast. Get your venue. Um, this is not a foolproof method. It's just something to assist you guys when you fish. And, uh, you know, you can see where everything is. Let's do one more example. This is Dry Fontaine over here. So you guys know when you come down from Dry Fontaine, there's this little bay area over here. And you guys do know that when a dam is full, there's this one lonely tree that sits out here in this area. So if you guys know where that tree is, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you go down to this area here, you can see there's another little bay. But let's say now the dam is sitting at 105%. You want to cast into the river. This just gives you a good indication of where that river actually is and where the riverbed and everything is. So again, this is now the th a 300 meter mark. So half of that is 150 meters. So approximately from there to roughly about there, that's 150 meters. You're not going to be quite in the river, but you're going to be in between 13 and 16 foot of water again. So guys, that is it. I just wanted to show you that this is how it looks, how it works. Again, any dam you can go to. Um, that this website does have so we can actually go back this unfortunately does not have dams like Bloomoff Dam or anything like that which is a pity because I would really like to know how Bloomoff Dam looks but um, here's Albert Falls Dam let's take that as an example I know a lot of guys do their bass fishing there and if you zoom out you can see exactly where that river is where the deep spots are so the river actually flows around Actually makes almost like a backwards S if you can put it like that. So again, just a simple thing just gives you a rough idea of what's happening and how you can plan your next fishing trip. So guys, I hope this has been informative. Um, do try this. It does help, especially if you're going to be fishing on the call um, and building that, that, that feeding spot. Um, this does really help because you know exactly where your, where your feed is and how deep your, your rods are. So um, please use it, like I said, dam contours, and choose your dam, select it. Not a foolproof method. Use this little scale down here. Okay, that's a three kilometer scale. We're going to use three kilometers. But use that. Use it how, you see what I mean when I say it. Anyway, so use a scale down here. Okay, use it how it's going to help you. And uh, I hope this has been informative. And um, that's it. So uh, all the best for the fishing that's coming up. And uh, if you guys are doing the Elite and the Pro Manias, I hope this helps you guys. But um, that's it from me.
So there it is, a very quick informative little video, um, nothing major, go try it out, see if that works for you, and um, there is an app that you can download, so I did have a look at that, cost something like 400 Rand a month, that's not going to happen, so I'm not paying that, so this is the poor man's method if I can put it like that, but go check it out. But guys, um, that's it. We might be hitting Montefontaine Nature Reserve next week, depending on the weather. So uh, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys think of that venue and what you use when you fish there. But um, hey, that's it. As always, take care, stay safe. We'll catch you again.